My name is Rick Lollisher and I was president and CEO of Economic Development Edmonton uh, when it first started. Um, it, it was a very interesting time. Edmonton was not in very good shape business-wise. Uh, in particular, the attitude in the business community wasn't very good. There were two challenges. Uh, one was putting Edmonton on the map. Uh, the other was uh, the economic slump that had occurred in the 1990s. The province was advertising that uh, there were 186 billion barrels of crude oil in the oil sands at that time. And we had to tell Edmonton's story that Edmonton would be part of that and would benefit tremendously from the spin-off activities. If you weren't in the energy industry, you suffered for something that, that people refer to as the Dutch disease. That you, had, you faced all the high costs and shortages that the energy industry faced, but you didn't have the strong customer base they had. The consolidation of uh, passenger air traffic at the International Airport, uh, that was so key to uh, the Edmonton economy. We took on a terrifically ambitious project. It was the Greater Edmonton Competitiveness Strategy. And we actually, for a period of time, had active collaboration with our neighbor municipalities, which had been tried and failed and so on, and, and it worked by and large for us. We created the joint venture Tech Edmonton with the University of Alberta which was a biz, to be a business accelerator. And of course it's gone on to be ranked as one of the major accelerators in the world. For most economic development organizations in the world, the number one priority is finding jobs for people. Uh, during my tenure, I think our number one priority was almost the opposite of that. It was finding people for jobs. Edmonton has substantially more direct flights uh, within Canada to the U.S. And, and internationally than they would have ever had. The Nanotechnology Center at the University of Alberta, which was a direct result of that initiative, it was literally walked on at our annual meeting, um, and it was a surprise to many people there. But we brought all the components together. I think if you look at the success of VenturePrize, 15 years of, uh, of phenomenal competitions and the number of companies that came through there and benefited tremendously. If you look at Tech Edmonton's success, particularly under Chris Lum's leadership, uh, has just been a really important part of spurring uh, the technology community and, and, and accelerating business. We are able to find that we have all sorts of undiscovered treasures, so to speak. Like, uh, for example, our elementary school program here is one of the best in the world. Most people don't know that. Uh, our post-secondary education, University of Alberta, Nate, uh, Grant McEwen, they're globally competitive. Uh, you look at the, we take for granted things like our, uh, our healthcare infrastructure, we take for granted our transportation, our communications infrastructure. You'd be hard pressed to find many places in the world that, that match what we have to offer. Thank you.